Vector is a uh, startup. We're addressing the very small spacecraft market or for launch vehicles. When you make a very small vehicle, a nano satellite launcher, everything has to shrink down. You start running into issues where things like bolts or connectors don't scale as much as you'd like. So we're trying to tailor our capability, our rockets, so that they're optimized for that smaller class of payload. The simulation's critical. If you have a failure, it's gone in 100 milliseconds. To the extent we can avoid those, that's a real key component. And so what we're trying to do is develop a, a vehicle capable of launching small satellites, typically less than 60 kilograms for the Vector R, the first version that we're doing, and then uh, going to uh, a little over 100 kilograms for the Vector H, the slightly larger version. Actually, there are a number of, of constellations or, or applications for, for small satellites, primarily what's called the CubeSat form factor. Just like you had a PC that became the dominant form factor for personal computers 30 years ago, uh, what's happened over the last 10, 15 years is that this CubeSat form factor has become very popular. We're tailoring our initial launch capabilities for that market. And what we see is a lot of times it's the operational issues that don't get the proper priority up front. Right now we're using ANSYS primarily for uh, all the various uh, fluid flows of the rocket engine. So we're doing a lot of analysis of the hot combustion gases in the engine as well as the various very cold cryogenic liquids flowing into the engine. We're starting to look at how they interact with the materials around them, make sure the engine can withstand this very extreme environment. ANSYS offered the best range of tools available. Like the CFD package, we're going to be using that. Uh, we're, we're doing certain new things with the engine that we're trying to do as an alternative using turbo pumps. And at the same time, use additive manufacturing to produce that and get geometries internally in terms of the manifolds and flow paths. The reason why we really like ANSYS is you have all your tools in one spot and you can quickly run through your simulations and your analysis and see the results and have the results in, in a way you can present it and, and share it with the rest of the team so they can, as quickly as possible, start using those results. Using both the CFD to optimize the flow paths inside and then using the other tools to come up with an efficient uh, structure, it's, it's a good merger of those two different capabilities. Testing is very expensive. One single test might cost as much as a, a single user license for a whole year. So very quickly, in the areas where the analysis tools are well validated, uh, it very quickly pays for itself and more. As we're growing, we're, we're trying to do more in parallel, and there's always a pressure to speed things up. Manufacturing cycle is typically in months. So when you're looking at that um, versus making a few changes into your simulation, and then you've got the answers. So that capability you know, is at least a, a tenfold, I would say. Designing is, is about making decisions. So it's how are we going to make those decisions as fast and as reliably as we can? And that played a big role in our selection of ANSYS.